Hello, I'm Stephen Monkey Mason, and welcome to the eighth wonder of the world, which is a tribute to King Kong. Probably one of the greatest films ever made. Now, basically, <laughs> calm down, man. I haven't even started the video. Here, have a <laughs> Sorry about that. King Kong is probably. How the fuck have you had that banana so quickly? Seriously, I didn't buy that many bananas. Fucking hell, the Zoom didn't tell me about this. Anyway, right. King Kong is one of the greatest films ever made. Now it's almost 100 years old. 1933 this film was made with the use of stop animation, rear projection, and it is unbelievable to think that that film was made then. And they're still making worse films now. Now when King Kong came out on DVD, right beside the screen out, the most iconic image of King Kong ever. Now this DVD comes with an anniversary. <laughs> Christ man, I'm not done, it's just King Kong. Sorry about this. Anyway, this comes with a documentary of Beauty That Killed the Beast, which celebrates 60 years of King Kong. Now, it's original black and white film, and originally, uh, recently, sorry, not originally, recently, they reissued it. See, they always do something wrong. These tributes are about what goes horribly wrong about the covers, not about the films in it, particularly. Anyway, I wipe the screen out. They've changed it to the original King Kong with just a pair of eyes. Really? Why have they done that to this film for? Digitally remastered, I haven't opened it yet, so I haven't seen what they've done with it. Now... <clears throat> right, where was it? Right, the same year they made a film called Son of King Kong, which featured an albino King Kong, and basically is unavailable on DVD or even video in the UK, to star a close relative to Casper, and then it was about 70 years later 70 years, 30 years later, until Toho Studios picked up the rights to King Kong to do the most anticipated Hollywood bash-up, or a Japanese bash-up of all time, Godzilla versus King Kong. Right. Now the cons... What the fuck are you chucking at us? Well, well, this is not Godzilla. This is not Godzilla. What? This film is not Godzilla. What? That is a terrible... Right, yes. Yes, that's right, mm. yeah. This is the original Godzilla. Godzilla was made after Japan banned war movies for a while and with the whole fear of nuclear re radiation, radiation, Godzilla was born in it. Yes, it was a man in a suit. And basically Toho Studios had the iconic idea of putting Godzilla vs King Kong in one film. Now, when it comes to covers, this is the cover of Godzilla vs King Kong. Now, on it is basically King Kong x Godzilla, and the King Kong on the cover, if you look at the King Kong on the cover, it is not the King Kong that is in the film. It is actually a still from the remake of King Kong years later, because the King Kong in this film is one of the weirdest looking fucking King Kongs you'll ever see. It's almost like a ginger monkey running around. Now, recently they reissued it a bit more correctly, and this is King Kong versus Godzilla. And as you see, yep, yeah, wait a minute, get that weird. But that, yes, yes, that's King Kong. Your King Kong. Yes. They reissued it with a classic movie cover on it. And you can see on there that the monkey looks a bit weird. Now, <laughs> definitely on the back. Hang on, flip that around. We look at the back right now. That is the King Kong they have in this film. Not the King Kong on this cover. Do you see where I'm going with these cover rants? Anyway, Toho Studios made one after that called King Kong Escapes, which I don't have at the moment, but in the outtakes I'll abide by them. And then they made a King Kong box set. Now the King Kong box set comes with the original King Kong film, the colorization of the King Kong film, Godzilla vs King Kong, and King Kong Escapes, which says King Kong vs a metal monkey. And the box set's iconic. It's got the original iconic cover on there, as well as a creepy one on the front. And then it's got that horrible Japanese looking King Kong on the side. Flip it open, it falls out into a lovely box set. It's open, wide open, look at that. Oh, it's almost like a giant penis, look at that. It is. And um, basically, it is a really good box set, good content, and a lovely film. Now, King Kong was due for a remake for a long time. And then in the 1970s, they did something really, really Okay, I would say okay. Now, with no stop animation and just a guy in a monkey suit and big robotic hands, King Kong came out, wipe the side of the screen out. 
King Kong, and if you look, is standing on the Twin Towers. How ironic that is. But anyway, King Kong um, was remade and completely restored. There's no dinosaurs really in it. There's just a big monkey. Jeff Bridges is in there, and it's running around. And there's some really bad flaws with this film, especially when he falls off the Twin Towers at the end. He just seems to disappear out of shot. And they also use this 40-foot mechanised King Kong, and they don't even use it really in the film, it's just in the background, it looks completely weird. Now, the film basically, oh, it's not really good. But when they brought it out on DVD, right beside the screen out, they replaced it with King Kong, same font as the Jack, uh, Jack Black, uh, Peter Jackson remake coming up, and just a big hand, and red, and on the back, <laughs> on the back is that big uh, King Kong I've just been talking about twice, it's on both sides. See, these rants are very random, aren't they? But yeah, it's all about the covers. Now, none of them ones I've just shown you have been released on Blu-ray. But King Kong was a massive thing for Universal Studios, especially when it comes to the ride. Now, this is the vintage, um, vintage tour guide of Hollywood. Now, look at this. Look at King Kong in there. King Kong was a massive Hollywood attraction. I'm going to put the link to the ride in the description below, which way you could see this massive monkey. Now, I was fortunate enough to actually go on this when I was a kid, and it scared the crap out of me. It was so terrifying to see King Kong on a ride. Right, there is a sequel to King Kong, and they made this sequel in the 1980s after much debate. It was done by the same director as the remake of King Kong, and to, to be honest with you, it has one of the nicest covers ever. For a video. Look at this. That looks mint. Some heroes never die. King Kong Lives! Yeah, that's my hat. Give me that hat back, man. King Kong Lives uh, is one a brilliant video box cover, but the whole idea of King Kong surviving, getting a heart transplant, they find another King Kong, then have a baby King Kong, and it just gets a bit batshit crazy. Now, when they released this on video or DVD, sorry, this is what we got. King Kong lives. If you thought Kong was dead, think again. And on the back it says, one of the top 100 most enjoyable bad movies ever made. It's just so bad, it's good. A film that tells you that this DVD or film is absolutely that bad. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. It's just got font on the disc. See, this is what happens. Now, when I was doing my tribute video for Highlander, I searched this house high and fucking low for a copy of the Highlander I had. And basically it was free in the paper. Check this out, Christopher Lambert's still looking for France. I actually found this between the King Kong videos and I was actually quite happy that I found it. But uh, unfortunate, I didn't have it from the the video. Right, let's get back to King Kong. What are you doing? Do you want another banana? There you go, be here now. Right, let's talk. Again, how are you eating these bananas so fast, child? No! Right. King Kong Remake 2005. We're getting here. Peter Jackson. One of Peter Jackson's childhood films. Now, when I was living in New Zealand, The Frighteners was coming out. And it was Peter Jackson's big breakout film. He was notorious for bad taste, brain dead, or meet the feebles. Uh, Michael J. Fox in The Frighteners, all filmed in New Zealand was Peter Jackson's big breakout moment. Now, Frankness is out on Steelbook. Look at this, lovely Steelbook here. Lovely imagery on the house, on the back. Michael J. Fox inside. So that was Peter Jackson. Now, Peter Jackson went on to do Lord of the Rings, and in between making Lord of the Rings, I'm sorry, after he filmed Lord of the Rings, he did King Kong. Now, this was gonna be good, no matter what they did. But I didn't think it was gonna be this long. So King Kong comes out. Right to set the screen out. The iconic King Kong fighting aeroplanes, fighting aeroplanes, and basically two disc edition, has a flip side cover inside, and um, the film is amazing. I think it's one of the best remakes ever made, and that's saying something, especially when you're talking about the thing as well. But in this film, on the back, look at that, it's got King Kong fighting dinosaurs, fighting T-Rexes. That's what we needed. No. But we didn't get the remake. No, not you fight with the T Rex. Not you fight. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, not that. No, you yeah. don't fight with T Rex. Mm -hmm. No, good fr friend. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this film is always going to be epic. Uh, visual effects are absolutely amazing. Now, if you get it on Blu ray, 
It is exactly the same, but it's extendedly longer. It is 3 hours and 20 minutes with some absolutely brilliant uh, deleted scenes. Unbelievable, especially the first dinosaur you see is Triceratops. And um, that's amazing. So the cover didn't change from DVD to Blu-ray. Peter Jackson also released whew, the Peter Jackson Chronicles of Making King Kong, which is an interesting watch. It's got some great production value to stuff in there. I'm just fast tracking it. They even cashed in, right beside the screen now, with King Kong the video game, which if you complete this game and do all the extra work, King Kong doesn't die. But the most ironic thing about this video game is the last level you are fighting on top of their aeroplane and all you've got to do is die. That's how, you, that's how you complete this game, by dying. It's unbelievable. So, they then released King Kong, wait to say the screen now, on DVD, and a special edition with three discs, because the film is that fucking long, they had to put it across three discs, and when you open it up, there's three different covers. You have one, the Empire State Building, with King Kong sitting up there, he's hidden there. Two, King Kong Holden, Naomi Watts, which is probably a zoomed in version, and then we have one of just King Kong. Just King Kong. <laughs> so yeah, there's three different covers in there in this box set. And then they didn't stop there. Now Universal Studios did a tribute and when they brought augmented reality boxes out, went to say the screen out. Now I don't have an iPhone, but if you put an iPhone over here, King Kong actually climbs up the Empire State Building. Can you believe that? Can you believe technology? And it's just basically one of the covers inside there. But that is the augmented reality. Now after all this rant and all this bullshit, King Kong does not have a steelbook yet because Casper doesn't have it. And enough of the all the collector and memorabilia and apes around, they went and fucked it up right at the end. They've just recently released, and this is where this rant originally came from, King Kong on Blu-ray. Wipe the side of the screen out. What is this? What what kind of cover is this? Why why? It's green. There's a square King Kong head. Yes, I get the concept that it's flying around New York, fighting helicopters. The eighth wonder of the world is on the back. No credits, no nothing on the back. Why have you done that? Now, down the line, when they do a steelbook of it, I will do a tribute video. And you'll be happy to know that I am planning more tribute videos down the line. But for now, I'm Stephen Monkey Mason. This has been the eighth wonder of the world. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, monkey? <laughs> Godzilla vs King Kong rematch? <laughs> yeah? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> okay! And the 60th anniversary... <laughs> anniversary. That's the second banana already. I've only got four left. Hello, I'm Stephen Monkey Mason and welcome to the 8th Wonder of the World, which is a tribute to King Kong. Probably one of the greatest films ever made. Wait, 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 wait! Calm down! Oh, sorry about this. Here, wait there. What banana? One banana. One. Sorry about that. This is... How the fuck did you eat that banana so quickly? Check it, dude. Look at that bad boy. You brought a chicken sandwich. Chicken stuffing and gravy. Dude, you cannot go wrong. Would you like a bite? No, thank you. Go on. Chicken stuffing and gravy. This is Kidder. Kidder played King Kong in the uh, video and now eating his uh, chicken sandwich. This is now here. I was just having a little bite. Next clip. There you go. There's the albino King Kong. So they changed the cover dramatically for some strange reason. Now, <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway. All right, so here you go, Paul Ray's little cameo again. Every time I see him post a tribute video, Paul Ray sends me some link to something. You haven't got that. And then this instance, it was a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man hat. Now, I don't know how it happened, but I ended up ordering the hat. And if I go down this little rant about Paul Ray, see, there's another Ghostbusters thing, Paul Ray. And after I finished the Turtles, he was like, have you not got the special edition of the Turtles? I was like, no, Paul Ray, but thanks for pointing that out. 
And then eventually, my stiff buff, Marshmallow Man hat came. So thank you, Paul Ray, but fuck right off. Hey, I am Donatello, the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> now this is this is the one I should have worn. This is my new hat. Check that out. It's not even a hat. That's it, more of a mask than a hat. That's my uh, Ghostbusters. Like both your new hats and masks. It's ironic though, I did the tribute for the turtles and the Ghostbusters I didn't have either hat when I had it. I know, what's that about? What? You idiot. I know, well I didn't plan them. This is my mm. new uh, Ghostbusters hat, which is also a mask. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hmm, have I done that just before? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the gatekeeper? Mr. Stay Puffed. No, I'm not. I'm not the key. Are master. you a god? <laughs> I'm not the key master either. You just popped in there. Just popped in there, man. Who? Mother puss bucket. Well, I just tried to think of <laughs> mother puss bucket. I just tried to think of something warm, you know, something, something non-dangerous. What does he say? Something like that. I don't know exactly what he says, but you know, Mr. Stay Puffed. <laughs> Another guy in a suit as well. Totally, which actually it is, isn't it? It is in the movie, isn't it? Uh. Okay, I know I said I was going to get King Kong Escapes for the outtakes, but I haven't had a chance to go to any shop to buy it yet. But that's King Kong Escapes. I will purchase it for the next tribute video. But yeah, it's pretty much what you're going to get King Kong and Meta King Kong there with beams coming out of his head. So yeah, there's no panic. I do own it. No, not again. No. No kiss kiss. It's not girlfriend. <laughs> What was meant to be in the original, then not even in the remake, and in Peter Jackson's version, it's only in the extended, but that's the first time you see a Triceratops. So that's how faithful Peter Jackson was to the original. It's got some amazing imagery in this book, though. <sighs> what, photographs? Yeah, but then sketches from the original concept. Quite happening. Was it a book? No, no. So you just made a movie? Uh, Cooper. RKO Pictures just came up with the idea. They were going to use... Um, they were going to go out and film like big lizards and make people look small in front of them. And stuff like that. Like a weird expedition. I said, ah, no, let's make a big monkey. Well, no, I just that's when stop animation came along, really. And sort of came about. Uh, there's a really haunting image of... Um, there. What a creepy fucking drawing, that. Is that a drawing? Uh -huh. This boots like fucking years old, vintage. Fucking hell. That's an outtake. Next clip. Get you, dude. Anyway. I try. Leonard Nimoy, is that what he used to look like? Don't know, don't know. Gerard Christopher as Superman. Who? Who? Mary Steenberg and Steve Martin, Sylvester. <laughs> Trying to look intelligent with his glasses on. <laughs> oh god. That's the guy from Ghostbusters. <laughs> no, it's Eddie Murphy! <laughs> it's not Eddie Murphy, it's Ernie Hudson. Close enough. <laughs> what are you doing? Who am I doing? Dude, that was me. What was wrong with it? What did you do wrong? Wait, because when I said, well, it, the key word's Godzilla. Sorry, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to give you that. <laughs> right, I forgot to mention why this sign is bent. Ah. Right, I've had this sign for a very long time. It's bent. No, no, it's bent. What, what sex is it? <laughs> ape. Alright. Oh, so it's ape sexual. Ape sexual. <laughs> But no, recently, I got back from um, a night out in Durham last Saturday night and I was fucking mortal. But not only was I mortal, Barney was asleep on the couch, who later on ended up on the floor, oh, I asleep as a turtle. I think those pictures. Adam was asleep on this, this settee here, and I crept down, and I'm going to put it in the corner. Move out the way, so I put it there. So I'm there, and I'm giving this little promo about how I'm going to do King Kong next, and I suddenly go, bing. No, I don't go bing, I just go. <laughs> I don't even hit him, like cut that in. And I finished the promo, uh, Barney goes, 
Man, that was fucking shit. Let's just go. Wham! In after. I'm quiet. That was my. No, dude, that really was my finger on. What the fuck was that? His fingers like that. And he's just like, oh, my fucking finger. And then I turned the blind eye and I got hit in the head with it as well. Hello, I'm Stephen Milky Mason and welcome to the 8th Wonder of the World, which is a tribute to King Kong. Probably one of the greatest of the Calm down, you no, know, I haven't even started yet. Do you want a banana? No. Here, have a banana for now. <laughs> Just take the banana. Sorry about this. This is King Kong, one of the greatest films ever made. Now, basically... How the fuck did you eat that banana so quickly? <laughs> no! <laughs> You're not meant to talk. <laughs> I knew that King Kong video was going to be epic. Next time I'm going to do something a little bit shorter. Right. This is the Holy Bible. Ooh.